Right, today we're going to learn about giving advice. When giving instructions, let them know, here it comes, here comes the instruction. Look around, make sure they can all see you, and then go for it. Together with your friends, read the dialogue and see if you see any conditional sentence in the dialogue. In giving instruction in last class, I would say it and then I would ask students to repeat what I say. Do you work alone? No, you work with partner. Please do, okay? Work with partner, do not work alone, okay? Two minutes. Once you've given the instruction, uh, check that they understand, usually through their actions. Watch them. If they do it, they've understood. If they don't do it, they haven't understood. In which case, go back, give the instruction again, and then ask them to go again. This animal, you can find it in your picture. When I give the instruction for them, I speak them in English and I will tell them in Thai because uh, when I speak in English, maybe they don't understand. If you don't know what does it mean, please look at the... If enough careful planning goes into the instruction and the instructions are simplified enough before the lesson begins, then it may take away the necessity for using the student's own language. Do you understand the instruction? Yes. Now look. Tell me what you know about this. What is it? Make sure you're not using any overcomplicated language. For example, can you say, what's this, rather than, can anybody tell me what this is? What is it, if sentence? When do you use if sentence? Even in your own language, it's quite difficult to take in more than two instructions. So one instruction, let them move. Then give another instruction, let them move. Anyone, help her. Any example? If. I always speak English if. in instructions because the language that I use would be the language that you can use in real life. I, I can't go to the school. Okay, that's another if sentence.